In the previous part of the Terraform series, we discussed the Terraform and its key features and concepts. In this part, we will discuss how to install and configure the AWS CLI and Terraform. I am a full stack developer and a top rated plus freelancer at Upwork.com. Also, if you have not subscribed my channel, you can subscribe now. It helps to create more courses and tutorials for free. So let's get started. Amazon Web Services is one of the most popular cloud providers and Terraform supports AWS natively. The AWS CLI is a command line interface tool that provides access to the AWS services. So in this video, I will walk through the installation and configuration of AWS CLI and Terraform. Before we install Terraform and AWS CLI, we need to set up AWS account. Terraform can provision infrastructure across public cloud providers such as AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and DigitalOcean, as well as private cloud and virtualization platforms such as OpenStack and VMware. So we are going to use AWS in our series. If you don't have already AWS account, head over to Amazon official website, okay? You have to just sign up and you have to create your first AWS account if you don't have already. When you are done with your account creation, you have to just log in into your AWS account. So I am signed in using a root user. This user account has access permission to do absolutely anything in the account. So from a security perspective, it's not a good idea to use root user on a day to day basis. Okay. So what we have to do here, you will need to create IM service. So what we have to do here to create a more limited user account, you will need to use identity and access management, which is IAM service. Okay. So actually IAM service is where you manage users account as well as the permission for each users to create a new IAM user, go to the IAM console. Okay, here you need to click on users. Okay, then you have to go to add users. Just give name to your IM user. Okay, I will just give name code with move. Next, then we have to attach policy here. Okay, we are going to give administrative access. Okay, I will just give administrative access here. Okay. And then we will just click on next and we can create a user here. So our IM user is created. No, we have to get access key and secret key because this secret key and access key will be used in our CLI when we will be using command line. Okay. So you have to just click on your username okay here you need to go to security credentials okay and here you need to create access key you have to choose command line interface okay next okay now you can see you have access key and secret key you can save these secret and access keys somewhere so we will use this key later on in our videos okay so I will just save these keys the AWS CLI can be installed on Windows Linux and Mac OS so I will be discussing the installation process for each of these operating systems for Windows 
to install the AWS CLI on Windows, you have to just visit this URL, okay? I will add this URL in my video description, okay? So you can just visit this website of AWS, okay? And then you have to click on Windows, okay? Here you need to download the AWS CLI MSI installer from the official AWS documentation site, okay? So when you are done with the download, okay, then you have to start your installation, okay? When the installation is complete, you can verify the AWS CLI is installed by opening a command prompt and running the command AWS version. For Linux, to install the AWS CLI on Linux, you have to open your terminal window and you have to install Python package manager and pip by running a command sudo apt get install python pip. Then you have to install the AWS CLI by running command sudo pip install AWS CLI. After the installation is complete, you can verify the AWS CLI is installed by running the following command AWS version. For Mac OS, to install the AWS CLI on Mac OS, you have to first open your terminal window, then you have to run command brew install AWS CLI. So it will install the latest version of AWS CLI on your system. So AWS CLI is being installed on my system. So it will take only few minutes to get ready. All right, our AWS CLI is installed. Now we need to confirm our installation. For this, we need to run command AWS, okay? And version, it will confirm which version of AWS CLI is installed on my system, which is 2.11.0. Okay, next we have to do to configure AWS. For this, run the command AWS configure, okay? It will ask you to provide your access key and secret key, and you have already copied earlier in this video okay so use the access key and secret key so you can configure AWS just paste your key and enter then it will ask you to add secret key as well all right so I will delete these keys because I'm using for the testing purpose so you don't need to share these keys with anyone because then your AWS account will be exposed Okay, here you can skip if you want to change your default region, you can enter the region name, but I will just go with the default. So I will just keep it simple, enter, okay. Okay, so my AWS is now configured. So when you are done with your AWS configurations, okay, so then you can use it to interact with AWS services. Installing Terraform. Know that we have installed and configured the AWS CLI, we can move to installing Terraform. Terraform can be installed on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, okay? So now we are going to discuss how to install, okay, on each operating system. For example, if we have a Windows, okay, we have to just visit this Terraform official website, okay. If you have Mac OS, Windows, okay, so you have to just download uh, zip files, okay, archives, okay, and then you have to just execute these uh, files, okay. So as I'm using uh, Mac, what I will do here, I will just copy this first command, okay and I will run this command in my Mac OS, okay? Then I will just copy the next command so I can install Terraform. 
okay it's very simple and straightforward to install terraform on your system okay so terraform is being installed on my system so you have to just wait for it it will take only one to two minute to get terraform installed on your system all right terraform is installed now let's check the version of terraform so we can confirm our terraform installation easily for this you have to just run this command terraform version okay so it will tell you your terraform version if your terraform installation was successful okay so you can see 1.4.5 okay this version is installed on my system so in the next part of this terraform series we will discuss how to create your first terraform configuration file and deploy it to aws don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel if you have any questions or feedback leave a comment below i will get back to you stay tuned for more courses and tutorials and until next time goodbye